All right. This this is what I want to talk about right now. Why everybody is not right. And you may be like, am I I beating a dead horse? No. This is why I'm not beating a dead horse. It's because this is the, this is, this idea that ultimately everything that you believe is right is, is what's stagnant about people's spiritual development. I say it all the time. A nigga who think he got the answer won't ask a question. And so if everything you believe is ultimately right, where would you ever ask a question? And see, and this is the, this is the, 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 the thing about that that really bugs me is that you motherfuckers don't even actually really believe that shit. You'll say it because it allows you to say whatever you want and to justify it, but you don't really believe that shit. Here's, this is what I mean when I say you don't really believe that shit. You see my pimple? This shit's still nasty, man. It's just still nasty. Oh, wow. This is what I mean when you say, I say you really don't believe that shit. Because if you really believe that ultimately everybody was right, you'd have nothing to say. You'd have nothing to say. You wouldn't teach anyone anything. What would be the point? Anything that person already believes would be correct. So you'd have no reason to open your mouth and teach anyone anything. All these little tidbits and and, and tips you want to give people and hints, you wouldn't do it. Why? Because the person that you're talking about or talking to already knows everything. They already know everything they need to know and they're already correct. See, you motherfuckers don't really believe that shit because it's, it's, it's impossible. Everybody knows it, but no one's going to let it go because that's the only way that they can be correct. To be correct has value. We all know it has value. But to avoid having to be culpable for the things you say, People will hold on to the idea that everything is correct. Every Everybody's right. It's impossible. It strips correctness of all of its meaning. Okay? It strips what, what it means for something to be right. To say that everyone is right ultimately. Right? Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that. That's why people are out here itching to teach somebody something. Itching to, 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 to give their two cents. If all money, if all money was worthless, you wouldn't even give your two cents. You give it because you think there's value there. You think that this is something somebody can learn from, somebody needs to learn. But if, if if a motherfuckers already know everything they need to know, everything that you believe is already correct, why would you need to teach them anything? You don't actually believe that. You don't look back at Christians and think, oh, oh, everybody's ultimately correct. So I'm not gonna say nothing about Christians. You're wrong. You're lying. You're lying. If you want to develop in the spiritual stuff, you cannot hold on to this idea that everyone is ultimately correct. In the place where everything is ultimately the same, like if you want to say, uh, well, up is really down. Left is really right. Wrong is really right. And the only place where all these things reconcile is the oneness. And that's in everything. Everything is one. Everything is part of the one. It, you're not saying anything. You're not progressing. It's just usually a tool, a coping mechanism to be able to pull back and not have to justify why you believe what you what you say you believe or even that you believe. You just have to say it. It's repackaged religion. All right. Everyone is not right. Everyone is not ultimately all correct. Okay, that's not how that's not how anything works. No one does that. And so it's on its face. It's something you don't even believe. But you say to justify the things you say so that you can keep saying stuff. Last thing, one motherfucker on here who 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 likes to, you know, project himself as a, a teacher of discipline. <clears throat> but at the same time, he'll say, well, you know, all of it's ultimately preference. Well, if it's all preference, what difference does what you're teaching make? Because I could just prefer not to think anything about it and I'd still be correct. So what difference did it make? What, cha- what changed? What made the difference? And, and it's, it's basically nothing. This is why everyone is not correct. All right. And it's not, it's not even simply that you got to feel that for yourself. You got to be able to battle that shit. See, I talk about it because I'm actually passionate about this shit. I actually, like, this is my field. Like, imagine if you was uh, an uh, 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 automotive, uh, automotive specialist, right? You're a car technician. And, you know, you learn about this shit. You learn it in and out. And motherfuckers come in there, well, you know, ultimately, uh, anything I do with my car is going to make it work. No. 
No. And see, a motherfucker like that will drive around their car, check engine light on, you know, tires wobbling and shit. Well, the car still works. So, I mean, ultimately, I'm correct. No, you're not. You're not correct. You're not right. And before you can be right, you have to be able to be wrong. You have to be able to be like, okay, I was wrong. Because look, if everybody's ultimately correct, you would have never left Jesus. You would have stuck with Jesus. If everybody was right, you would have stuck with Jesus. Everybody's not right. Anyone teaching you and telling you that everyone is right is wrong. (laughs) Is they're wrong. They're very wrong. Like, you don't even have to go. It's so obvious that this is wrong. It's so obvious. Anyone trying to hold on to that is not, they're disingenuous. All right. Generalizations are valid. You cannot have a conversation without generalizations. Generalizations are valid. Anyone trying to avoid generalizations is trying to avoid being categorized. But you need it. You need limitation. You need illusion. Otherwise, it's just ultimately only one thing. And that may as well be nothing. That's the whole thing about Christ being the savior of the of, of the most high. Christ saves the father from himself. And Christ and the Father are not two separate things, like Osiris and Horus. They're not separate things. They're different aspects of the same process, but they're not separate things. You've seen the Father, you've seen the Son. Osiris is the old order. Horus is the new order. It's the same thing. It's the same order, but it's the new version of it. But, but let's say you say, well, ultimately, uh, Osiris and Horus are the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. It's the same order continuing itself, but they're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. You got to lean in, man. If you if you want to be right about things in this life, if you want to figure out how you're supposed to be in this world, you can't just give yourself a, a badge and say, I've won because I believe that everything is, is everything. That That's nothing. That's bullshit. It's cap. So you following anybody who say anything like that? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Because they're wrong. There's no, there's no other science where that's accurate. There's no science. That, you think the niggas who make the cell phone sat around just, okay, well, everybody's correct. So, you know, we don't really need to do anything. No one would have made anything. You're not going to figure nothing out that way. This is why motherfuckers in the spiritual community don't know things except just to say the new thing, to say the same thing everybody else says, which is t- tell everyone that they're right, you know, and, and validate them. This shit is about more than being validated in your ideas. This is about challenging your ideas. And if your idea is that everyone is correct, there's no reason to talk. There's no reason to have a discussion. Nothing. That's it. I'm not even gonna take. I'm not even gonna take a long time because it's obvious and it's, and it's it's small and it's basic. Everyone is not right. It's impossible. Generalizations are valid. You can't have a conversation without generalizations. Anyone who says you can't is making a generalization about generalizations. Anyone who tells you you can't use generalizations is making a generalization about generalizations. It's basic stuff, bro. It's basic stuff. But it's it's infecting the whole spiritual community where everyone wants to be right. Every Indian want to be the chief. If everybody the chief, where the fuck the tribe at? Everybody's not right. Everybody's not right. And you don't even believe that shit. Because then you, you look back at Christians and you say, okay, well, everybody's right. You'd have nothing to say to them. You'd have nothing to say to them. So you're lying. If you thought that everybody was right, you wouldn't teach anybody anything because they already know they already right, right? It's a lie. It's a lie that we, that not, I'm not going to say we, cause I don't perpetuate that shit. Everyone is not right. Everyone is not right. I'm going to say it one more time. And that's the end of this live, y'all. Everyone is not right.